everyone. Welcome to Toy Break episode 260. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Brian. And I'm Jeremy. Where are you guys from? We're from Spy Monkey Creations. <laughs> I was hoping you'd both say it in unison. Like We tried to practice that, didn't we? One, <laughs> one twins activated. We didn't Spy call before. Yes. No, we didn't okay. call each other before we came. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for being on Toy Break. We're very excited to have you here on the couch finally. Yes, it's Absolutely. exciting to be here. All right, so we're going to get back to you in just a moment. But for you people out there, you may not know what Toy Break is. You might be a first-time viewer. You might be a long-time viewer, still just lost and curious. Well, we're going to tell you right now that Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about the wonderful world of toys, including, but not limited to, designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, events, interviews, creators of toys, hint, hint. <laughs> Anything we can bring you in said wonderful world. Let us start, as we always do, by thanking our site sponsors like 3D Retro, Tomonosuke, Happy Panda Toys, Art Attack Toys, Grumpy Burt, Vinyl Riot, Vinyl Riot, your one-stop destination for designer toys, offering a huge selection of DIYs and art supplies to satisfy all your creative needs. Don't forget to sign up for their newsletter to receive their Riot Deal of the Week, a secret promotion given only to their subscribers. VinylRiot.com from bees. Puppet Heap. Puppet Heap, a world of stories on your hand. Superpower Collectibles. And DKE Toys. Yay! We also Could have had Brian say the Puppet Heap <laughs> in some fun voice. <laughs> that was a wasted opportunity. Uh, we also have a few donations to thank for. Uh, Richard from the UK, Garrett from Texas, Thomas from New Mexico, John from Florida, Emil from California, and Matt from California. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. We appreciate each and every dollar. Keeps the lights on, keeps the tapes rolling, keeps the timer going. You know what? None of that was new adding purple to the map. I think we need to call a state out. That's your job. What state don't we have? I don't even remember anymore. Probably like Idaho. All right, Idaho. Represent. <laughs> Send, Send a dollar. Dollars. I'll take potatoes. One dollar, that's all it takes. Potatoes <laughs> are expensive. <laughs> all right. Would you like to tell us about, we're a little backed up on contests. Would you like to tell us about some winners, George? Yes, the Fuji.me contest, uh, the winners. The posters, the prints. The, yeah, the prints. The From big Fuji. ones Fuji. wrapped in like tons and tons of wrapping. Remember those? Well, they're wrapped back up in that wrapping, ready to go out. Uh, so the winners are Fet42 gets the Sneaky Raccoon yeah. print. Smack gets the JPK print. And Calm gets the Triclops print. So I need you three guys to PM me on the forum. Pee and on him in the forum. Pee on me on the forum. Never gets old. And send me your addresses, and I will send you out the prints. And we also have the Bone Sucker Contest winners. We do. Oh, yeah, we I do. thought this was a toy show. They're winning toy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime so, you see Sarah Joe's box, that means there's a contest winner. So we have four. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys saw these. We have four Bone Suckers here. To give away, and you guys are going to help us give them away. If you cool. Don't mind. So, yeah. All right. So what we're going to do? These are the four. We don't have to necessarily match them up. We can just send random colors, right? Yeah. Whatever. Okay. So everybody had to go on the forum. These are by from Jimmy Fu. Did graciously donated straight from Jimmy Fu. So go check yeah. him out. Um, oh, those are wicked. You put little bones in their mouth. I know. Aren't they adorable? That's wicked cool. And they're all, hand, they're all handmade, like chemo clay. On a bone. That's awesome. <laughs> so people had to go on the forum and tell us why they wanted a bone sucker. So now we're gonna pick random, we have all these little bits in here with their reasons. So we're gonna pick them out and I think we should read the reasons and let our guests say if they win or not. Yeah, like if the reason isn't good enough or if it's not funny, ah, we might pick a different reason. Oh, so much power. Oh, oh, it's going going yeah, no, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all, all right. this. Would you, like, <laughs> <laughs> would you like to pick one and, and see if... It's like a fortune cookie. Oh, oh. That's, a, that's a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> would you like me to read it? Sure. In your good voice. In my good voice. I want a bone sucker to put at the bottom of a vat of margarine or butter. When I go to a friend's house, I will make an excuse to go to the kitchen, put their margarine slash butter in the microwave until it melts, pop the bone sucker in with a little sticky tape on the bottom if it doesn't naturally sink, and then put the margarine butter back in the fridge to reform. This will work far better if they have a near full tub of margarine. Then as they get halfway through their tub of margarine slash butter, they'll come across the blood bone sucker and flip out. Yeah, that would freak me the hell out if this was in the bottom of my if this was in the bottom of my margarine. I'm going to have a muffin today. And then this guy is like smiling back at you like Yeah. I, I think that guy's good. a winner. Yeah. That's a good that's a good one. He needs the yellow right, one. So he needs the yellow one to match Okay. So Wednesday is the winner. Wednesday. Oh, that's the name. Yes. Ah, okay. Wednesday. I also might recommend not putting that in butter. 
I don't know how toxic. I, I'm, it probably isn't toxic. He doesn't have to fall through on his. I'm just saying, thing. all toys you should check before you put them in food. Well, margarine's only like one aquariums. Margarine's only like one molecule away from it's, plastic. It's not really. Anyway, it's true. So, you know what? You're yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Country it's actually, talk. The, the butter will probably hurt the toy. <laughs> all right, so let's leave this with this one because he's going to sure get cool. Do that. All right. Put it on video for us. <laughs> yes, please. I would love to see that. Jeremy, you want Jeremy, to pick Jeremy, would you like to right. pick and deem worthy or not? You guys large keep one. picking long ones. I know. There's short ones in here. Kipper Bun says, <laughs> I want a bone sucker because they remind me of my childhood. As odd as that sounds, I used to make Fimo clay sculptures with my mom in the afternoons in the summer. Admittedly, mine were nowhere remotely near as awesome as Jimmy Foo's works, but I see them on the podcast really brought on the warm fuzzies. Oh. Oh. Pretty heartwarming oh. tale. And he talks about mom. Yeah, he yeah, dropped yeah, anybody that drops a mom in there. You gotta, yeah. gotta love mom. So right. I think right. Kipper Bun. Sounds like another yeah. approved. Put it with that one. <laughs> That's a good one. He gets the little blue fella here. Okay. Nice. Or she. I don't know. Kipper Bun is a yeah, it's... gender neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a wee one. All right. Let's see. This one is from Crack It. I want a blood sucker to help keep or a the... Or sucker. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I keep saying blood sucker? No, that was the first time. I'm sorry. I want a bone sucker to help keep the... Fat chewers back. Those things hurt. What's a fat chewer? Is a fat chewer? Bone, bone, sucker, 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 sucker. bone sucker and a fat chewer. If he's got if a he's fat chewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like you know. I mean, that's that. Oh, gosh, that You'd one's probably a hard probably have one. to help him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he needs a friend. <laughs> that sounds like a product that needs to happen. So. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> fat chewer. Crack it. We want to see your fat chewer. Oh. Whoa, Ooh. whoa, whoa. No, I know him. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> I don't know. I dig this one. Okay. Yeah. Winner. Yeah, right. yeah. Winner. Okay. Winner. Winner. Bone sucker dinner. Whoa. So we got the last one here. Okay, the fat last one. Oh. Last one more, one. Jay. I'm gonna go to go to the very bottom. These are so damn looking cool. Right, here's a little, nice neat, little right? skinny one. Yeah. Seth Horn writes because I need it. Do it for the children. <laughs> <laughs> That's win. <laughs> I mean, come on. All four first ones. Seven win. words. Seven words. Do it for the children. Think of the children. Win. All right. Win. Sweet. Sarah's box is a little dusty. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. I wasn't keeping your box <laughs> clean. That's, I don't even need to say it. I know, her too. It's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, with two contests ended, we need a new one. We do. Tell us about it. And I don't have the things here. but They, they can see them. Uh, Battle Beast Mini Mates Contest. These are provided by Diamond Select Toys. And you have two chances to win. You can win one, win one full set of Series 1 Battle Beasts. Includes eight awesome figures. Uh, all you have to do is go to the forum in the contest section and post which animal you would like to see as a Battle Beast. Uh, that is not a request from Diamond. That is just no. us saying we want to know what cool animals but would hey, make cool beasts. You never know who's waiting for them. Um, Did they ever make a duck? They already made one of my favorites, that walrus. Is it? Pretty, pretty yeah. cool. My favorite oh, is walrus, cool. hippo, Dude, moose. owl. Did you see the moose? The moose is pretty good. Dude, moose. The moose is pretty good. The walrus. <laughs> duck. Right. Like Brian moose. wants a duck. <laughs> a duck. So go to the forum. <laughs> and you can enter. Deadline is oh, May yeah, 29th. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll pick two at random, just from we'll put two animals out of Sarah's box, and we will get the winners from that. All it's right. so dirty. <laughs> Maybe we should move on to some news <laughs> real quick. <laughs> All right, Megaseth by Lisa Ray Hansen, a.k.a. I Break Toys. Uh, we've had this on the show before. She sent us a wonderful toy break version of her Megaseth, which is mm -hmm. totally awesome. It's a four-inch resin figure. Uh, there's two hand-painted colors available, ten of each for a total of 20 pieces. Each figure comes with a special Megaseth rock memorabilia kit, including gig ticket, uh, certificate, mini print, guitar picks, and badges. They are available now online. They were at ToyCon UK. They are available online. Fujimi.bigcartel.com. They are 50 pounds each. It's quite a bit of stuff you get for 50 pounds. That's a heavy toy. That is a heavy toy. <laughs> it's going to cost a lot of shit. <laughs> that's the little dude that looks like a roadie, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's dude, a, it's that a thing's, mustache yeah. alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth yeah. it. He's wicked cool. I love that guy. <laughs> Uh, Kickstarter alert. So we got a... Uh, wah, wah, wah. We need like a, a drop We need a Kickstarter there. sound. Eek. That's not... <laughs> yeah. Never that was the donkey starter alert. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, need oh, to, I need to go change myself now. Uh, Doggonauts. This is... Uh, do it's called Doggonauts Enemy Line. It's a stop motion <laughs> film by Shell and Justin Rash. Rash? I can't remember how to say it now. Uh, it's on Kickstarter now. 
And the reason we're talking about it is because the OMFG Series 2 artist, Mike Fleming Jr., is providing two minifigure sculpts for the, as, as rewards for part of this. Uh, it's a mini Dober and Fester Flea. And uh, those are like the heroes of the stop motion film. So, but for, you know, for only 25 bucks, you can get a DVD of the film when it's ready. But for 75, you can pick one of the minifigures you want, or for 150, you can get both. So if you want to support a cool stop motion film or get some cool minifigures, and I knew about that because I follow you on Kickstarter. Awesome. Dude, so many <laughs> Kickstarter emails. I saw that emails. awesome uh, Kickstarter, and, and it reminded me kind of like Enemy Mine. Yeah, it's a and, cool right? little... It's a, a little dog and the flea, they're enemies. Maybe they're going to become friends. It looked pretty darn cool. Yeah. And I always look for the toy Kickstarters. There's, of course. Throwing a toy incentive. That's always nice. Kind of going to be there. And last but not least, we have Mortimer the Mortician and Oliver the Bat Boy. These are by Brant Peters, Kathy Olivas, and Art Toys. Mortimer, a narwhal-themed undertaker... Of course. <laughs> Stands six inches tall and comes with straight razor and bottle of Toxico embalming fluid. Oliver stands six and a quarter inches tall and comes with two scavenger bird companions. Both figures will be available in four versions of each figure, uh, with each one limited to 200 pieces. It will be grayscale, turquoise edition, red edition, and purple edition. They're all available uh, this month in May at arttoys.com. That's with a Z because they're from the street for $60 <laughs> each. Is that how you do that? Yeah. Okay. The the creations. We Spy need monkeys. From the street, yo. Get Spy cred. monkey creations. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, You're going to have to redo your logo, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, shall we on to some blind box? Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> so today we have, fresh off of the Lego store floor, Series 10. Nice. Collectible minifigs. I like the gold packaging. Um, I'll spoil alert. Gold, right? None of these no. are Mr. Gold. Oh, no. I can tell. This is a... Yeah, this guy's a mutant. Yeah, I, he, he can tell you what's I'm in sorry, each one of Native these. American. Yes, he's a, he American. is the he is the penultimate Lego whisperer. Yeah. He can tell you what's in every one of these I bags kinda, kinda do before it you open it. Like this one is the uh, old man. Let's see, this is ooh, this is one that I'm not a fan of baseball, but when you've got the new catcher's mitt, little mitt, baseball player, very cool. All right, let's see. <laughs> What'd you say yours was? Wait, should we just Mohawk make Jeremy Indian. tell us Mohawk which one is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Mo not Mohawk Native American. Mohawk Sorry. Native American. All Sorry. right. Okay. No, I do not want to be in, in, in sensitive. He was right. Very, very off. Of course. This Got is that Paris Hilton looking chick with the, the, uh, the chihuahua. <laughs> the chihuahua? The chihuahua. The little, the little bag dog. And this, oh, yep, this, yep. Is, this is nice. <laughs> I think this is, uh, this is the, the crazy old bald dude. Here's your ball, dude. You gotta open it now. Oh, okay. It's the last one. Here's your ball, dude. Well, he was right on the baseball yeah. guy. And actually, I didn't realize that's cool. It's, a, it's very the cool, whole right? Hand is yeah. Weird. That's awesome. You get weird looks, though, at the. At oh, the my store. goodness. He was right. That's what I got. Yeah, it's okay, well, you can do that because he's a voice actor. <laughs> yeah, back in my <laughs> day, we didn't have blind bags. <laughs> Don't forget the cup. You jerks. The best part. Oh, he's got sculpted hair. I got the old times. Yeah. On the old head. times it's newspaper. A it's, a, no, it's, it's a cap. It's a cap. Oh, that's it's awesome. Yeah. Pretty awesome. So my Let favorite. Let me put that cap on the baseball guy real quick. Heck yeah. My favorite part about <laughs> Hall of Famer. The Instant Hall of Famer. Is the new phone tile. Oh yes. Oh she's nice. The smart it's phone. Pretty sexy, but nice. also that she's holding her chihuahua by the ass. <laughs> As that's everyone that, should. How, how do you hold the chihuahua? The that's anus hold. My dog hates it when I do that. <laughs> Stop it. That's a, a violation. Oh, PETA's going to come for that lady. Totally right. right. Where is Lego PETA? Lego PETA. Lego PETA. I love the bald top. That's oh, look at it. That's wicked cool, man. Yeah. I dig this guy. That tomahawk's that new I tomahawk. guess it's tomahawk. Really? Wow. Cool. And that, lo that loincloth is something to be. Look at that. <laughs> they went full authentic with that Whoa. sucker. I mean, he's, he's wearing <laughs> chaps with a loincloth. There is. He got that, that might be a village yeah. person. Yeah. Why didn't they just make his people? legs flesh colored and then have just the Well, because cloth? then they couldn't do this. It's <laughs> awesome optical it's illusion. Sexy time. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Sexy time. Sexy time. Sexy time. Yeah. <laughs> These are great. Series 10 is really strong. There's a lot of good things in here. Yeah. Why, why not print the number on his back? Seriously, there's nothing on that. Because that would cost more. Are they? Are they not doing? Because they times. For, <laughs> for a few yeah. of the series, like see, he's got his suspenders printed on the back. Yeah. So some of them have have back prints and some What's of them this? don't. That's a phone. 
a, a smartphone. smartphone. Oh, yeah, it but sure it's is. not really an iPhone, not really an Android. It's just a smartphone. No. Well, you see, Brian, it has to do with the costing. We couldn't afford to print it on him because that would have taken away from the dog or something <laughs> else. So. I want to know what kind of app she's got on here. <laughs> um, Star app. Star app, and... heart app, purse app. Shopping, clearly. And BFF. There's actually a little BFF on there. That must be when That's you locate your friends. That's some good That is some pretty good tempo printing if my blind ass can read it. Dude, <laughs> Lego is amazing at that. What is she read? supposed to be? No, this doesn't have anything. Um, She's a librarian. With the book Oranges and Peaches? Is the um, name there, the there's actually a thing about that. Uh, it sounds like... Uh, Fifty Shades of Yellow. No, Oranges and Peaches is a play on something fruit. else. Uh, what, oh, what's it a play on? Four and Peace? Warm piece? Orange no, it's, it could be. It's, is it Very warm literary. Piece? Somebody told me what it was. It was like, instead of saying, have you read such and such, they say, have you read Oranges and Peaches? Twilight. No, it may be like Warm Piece. I like the black and white mime. That's pretty cool. Or the clown. It's like Pagliacci. Yeah, awesome. yeah, and the yeah, Pagliacci. Yeah. I love the paintball gun. Yeah. Paintball I dig really the big. biker with the big wrench. Oh, <laughs> the Cheech, you mean Cheech? Wrench. Cheech, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to work like, on my East L.A. The painter's mock. pretty cool, the painter, too. It's like yeah. the plumber. It's like, you know, the regular workman of the, the Lego world. I like you know, the not painter. everybody can be oh, so you a can't Roman centurion. Not everyone can be a bee. A girl, yeah. <laughs> you can't see her cup says, shh. Uh, okay. Oh. I definitely want the painter when you go to the store next. Yes, sir. <laughs> put, put that on the list. <laughs> and so what's this Mr. Gold thing about? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness me. So, donde esta Mr. Gold? Where is Mr. Gold? On eBay there for thousand dollars. <laughs> There's one up. Somebody put one up uh, today or yesterday, and all the money's going to charity. Well, that's nice. Isn't that yeah. nice? The charity's that's name nice. is their pocket. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think there's fifteen hundred, something like that. It's pretty rare. Now, so basically, it's a gold-plated, not real gold. It's Lego gold-plated, I believe. Uh, it's like back metal. Bag in a bag. Yeah. Uh, they did find one in Ontario yesterday. So they have made their way across the entire United States. Oh. Now, who is they? I uh, want to know who this they is, and how did they find him? Good question. Good question. <laughs> um, and it's by feeling, because you can feel the top, the top hat. The top, top hat's an easy piece. Now, yeah, here's yeah. the thing. There's a rumor One going hand. around. Beware. Um, that, But definitely buy it if you feel a top hat. Yeah. But there's a rumor going around that they may have packaged some not gold. Uh, Mr. Gold's, so like regular black I wonder how pieces. Oh, we don't that know is. if that's true. So it's just like the Monopoly dude then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Which, if they did that, is amazing. Well, then is that guy rare, though? And then don't that's know. even harder to find? Don't know. This is all rumor. Speculation. Not true. Don't listen to this as news. See, what I thought they should have done was had, like, a, you know, there's a gold plastic Mr. Gold as one of the regular figures, mm -hmm. and then have the vac metal one as the chase. The rare one. Because yeah. if you're a kid, you don't know from contests and eBay $1,000 craziness. Right. You right. might just be like, I really like that guy. He looks like Mr. Peanut and the Monopoly guy. Well, Legos aren't kid. for kids anymore. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lego is for everyone, and I think Lego maybe they do stuff like this to maybe get more adults involved. Yeah, it's also been huge for them on the aftermarket. I mean, oh it's my the gosh. Th there's an aftermarket for Lego, but it's kind of like you know for those in the know. Mm -hmm. But this is yeah. like you go to your local toy show. The average scalper who used to be selling Marvel Legends ten years ago is like Lego minifigures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't know a brick from a you know anything else. Well, and, and it's funny when you walk into like a Lego shop or a Target or something to just put out a fresh box. How many different walks of life and, and age groups and everything you actually see sitting there feeling out the bags. I mean, I've oh seen gosh. like 80 year old women feeling out bags. I've seen six year old girls, you know, it's, it's like, you know, everybody I mean, the dude, I saw a dude at the, at the Lego shop up here in Glendale, um, a, a couple months ago when the, whenever the last series came out, the guy is somebody you didn't want to meet in the dark alley. I mean, somebody you did not want to f with, and he's sitting there going, "I'm trying to find." I can't even remember which one is. He's telling me which it's one he's nice looking to talk for. Talk about Brandon like that. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but it is. It's just. It's amazing how how many people are. You know, it's that the, the little Lego dudes the speak to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's got a very wide audience. And I gotta say, I mean, as a blind box, it's great for us because sometimes when blind box is low, I have these guys. They're like three bucks. Great. Yeah. But I'm also happy to bring them to the show when they're new. All right, shall we on to reviews? Let's do it. Let's get to why you guys are here. Spy oh. Monkey Creations. Jace. What do you guys do? <laughs> Shh, they don't know you're illegal. Oh, all right. <laughs> that ain't. We do, uh, we make toys. Oh, we, make, we uh, like toys? We love toys. We make uh, Glyos compatible uh, action figures and accessories and uh, 
I have a big where'd pig that, sticker where'd that blade go? right here in my pocket oh, nice. to get through those thick plastic bags. And to fight off the and other a, Lego yeah, bag exactly, yeah, exactly. So It comes in handy. Yeah. So there is Daddy's so, one. You guys might remember my um, exuberant excitement about uh, the launch of Weapon Years of Monka. Yes, that was last September. Ago. It was last uh, September. Well, and September we launched it. We we debuted at PowerCon uh, in Torrance, and then we um, we had our uh, had our launch on October first, and, uh, and it really was so amazing. You sold out in like a minute. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. A so minute times goes. four million. Um, but yeah, it's like it, it was very very yeah it was very well received. <laughs> you know, we had we had a lot of uh, a lot of really cool. Uh, um, a lot of really cool feedback off of it. And, Great, you guys. Um, you know, it, it kind of um, bridged the gap between our um, our six and seven inch action figure accessory fans that were buying the swords and the shields and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. And we wanted to move into doing um, uh, doing action figures, so we kind of built up the story of who created the weapons that we uh, that we had, and we came up with the weaponeers. And uh, it started out as one or two figures to begin with. Um, actually, the characters that turned out uh, to, to be uh, Paladar and Brutok were the initial characters, you know, and then the golems developed Our off heroes. of those, and then, yeah, and, uh, and then uh, Umbrius and uh, Imperius, the two brothers, the kind of the, the Optimus Prime and the, uh, the Megatron of the, of the group, you know. The He-Man and Skeletor. He-Man and Skeletor, the, the, you know, I mean, the Mumra and lion -O, you know, it's like they're, they're just kind of there. We, we, oh, look at that, my goodness. Oops. That one has got a uh, that that's that's a rare factory variant. <laughs> yes, um, that's it's, like the uh, Mr. Gold. Yeah, that's it a, is. that's it's a, Mr. Silver. It's Mr. Silver. <laughs> it's just a spike. That's thing. a spike that has been used on somebody terribly, terribly wrong. Um, so, it so uh, um, where look was at I? these other spikes. All the other ones are Perfect. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, shiny, huh? Okay, Amazing. so basically, they you just launched an expansion. Mm -hmm. Yes. First expansion. Yes. To yes. the Weaponeers. And that's what these guys are from. Correct. The Bloodlust storyline. Ooh, good name, good name. We so, wanted to uh, kind of expand the story and, and also change the model a little bit on how, how the figures were sold because we had a really big drop initially. We had like six different figures. Six, six different figures and in the first drop, yeah. You know, we're big fans of Glyos and, and Matt Dowdy, and he does these mega drops where it's just a massive amount of product all at once. <laughs> yeah. So we thought, you know, maybe what we'd like to do, because it took us a long time to recover from that first drop. You know, we went six months after, before we even had anything else, you know, ready at all. Because yeah. it, it took so much time and so much energy and, and money and anything else to, to, to put out that much product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing now is we're trying to do smaller drops uh, more often. So we get more stories, we get more product out there, and, and the drops won't be quite as overwhelming. And uh, they'll be very, you know, story-oriented. As a story fan, I appreciate oriented. that. And we, we're, we're fans <laughs> of toys, too, so, you know, it, it's something that we're very sensitive to as well. Yeah, and it's, you know, I mean, when, when, you have, when you have a drop and, you know, if you want one of everything, you've got to, you know, you've got to sink $100, $150. It's kind of yeah. hard. I mean, this, the, the economy is not easy going on anybody right now. Right. right. You know, especially toy, you know, toy fans and, and collectors because the... The plastics are going up. The, the 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 cost of production is going up. The cost petroleum, of cost of shipping. You know, it's like everything is, you yeah, know, everything is relative. Customs. Yeah, and customs <laughs> customs can tear you up too. We we got these got held up by about a week uh, on the uh, on the factory end uh, in customs. Uh, the Chinese customs. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Before uh, you know, they before they got over. Luckily, for a full week. Hanging yeah. Out. Cold yeah. cow chicken or something. Yeah, know. yeah. Luckily, <laughs> luckily, when they got when they got Racist. over here, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Did I say, oh, edit that, edit that. <laughs> cut that out, cut that out. Indians, kung pao chicken. This is just horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know, I know. It's, it's going bad. Yeah. So tell us what's new about this. Tell us what's new and shiny about this uh, drop. <laughs> well, what we wanted to do here is give you um, a bit more of an alternative as far as what you're going to get in each drop. We've got a deluxe figure and then we've got our basic figure. A basic figure is like our golems like we did in the first drop, mm -hmm. which will be, you know, you get all the different heads, you get your basic figure, it's got some tampos and, you know, paint ops on the eyes, but it's a little less expensive. It's good if you want to customize it mm -hmm. or if you want an army build with it. The new alternative we've added is the deluxe figure, Ooh. which we added a lot more paint and we actually added in some of the pieces from our armory, but done in silver chrome. So for a couple dollars more, you get you know a lot a lot more in the 
compact bag, you know, yes. a lot more play value. Um, and there's a bigger contrast. So, you know, we try to give people a little bit more choice. But really what you need is all, both of them. Absolutely. I'm just saying. If you read well, the story, you'll see that, you know, they're adversaries. And exactly. You want to play out the whole adventure. Now, what you can do is, we've had these on before, is everything, you can take everything apart. There's a head, this guy's arm could be a head, this hand could be a head. Everything can reconfigure. You can make all sorts of amazing things. It's basically the Lego of action figures, the Glio system, I think. Absolutely. Matt can... Dowdy pioneered that, and it is awesome. But I love what you guys have done with it, because you've taken it to a different... I mean, you really made your own characters. And something about these really speaks to me. I just love the little blocky hefty little guys i'm like i just well, want to make things out of you we're 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 80s kids you know it's like we grew up with all of those big hefty toys like he-man and the thundercats and the inhumanoids and you know it's like all those big chunky toys it's like you could pick it up you could huck that sucker yeah metal yeah. die cast metal transformers i mean you could kids huck them across the street that. you could drop them down the stairs you know it's like you could you know swing them from a rope you know some whatever you build in your backyard, you know, it's like we used they to be survive. able to actually play with the toys and they would survive, you know? <laughs> and they weren't collectible. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like you didn't put them on a shelf and, and, and forget about them, you know? It's like you actually played with them and that's, you know, to me, it's like I've always liked the big, chunky action figures, um, but at the same time, it's like the big, chunky, huge action figures, you know, space is at a premium too. So it's yes. like if you want to have, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to build a good collection, the, you know, the smaller the better. That's why a lot of these blind bag toys and some of the smaller things have gotten more popular, you know, and, yeah. and, and a lot of the, you know, cost is a factor too, but a lot of these other companies are, are down downsizing uh, from the big, you know, six and seven inch action figures down to more three, three quarter inch and four inch figures. Well, speaking of cost, would you like to say how reasonably cost yours are? Yes, the deluxe figures, uh, which come with everything you see here, is uh, th these are fifteen a piece, um, and they come with a full uh, full complement of heads and hands and different weapons. Um, they come with some vac metal pieces as well. Um, before, what we were doing was we were packing the figure with just one alternate head, um, and that was twelve dollars. But we've decided to you know with the deluxe figures, we'll add the vac metal pieces. We can add, you know, we added more paint and throw in all the heads so you can have full interchangeability um, without having to go in and buy any, like, extra accessories or anything nice. like that. Um, this is my new favorite and, piece. Uh, isn't that nice? Dude. <laughs> That's our deluxe close combat armory. Thank close yeah, combat yeah. armories previously was, you know, our, our lowest price offering, and it was just, you know, a selection of accessories you could use with other figures or with weaponeers. The deluxe includes, again, some vac metal uh, chrome pieces, so... It's I feel a five dollar like item. Be like a hair piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those goes for five dollars. The standard uh, close combat armory is three dollars. So again, you know, more affordable. If you wanted to buy a bunch to outfit your figures, you know, build some extra parts. You need these. I love Absolutely. this. Absolutely, uh, The paint on these is really nice. Yeah, it's like, really, really meticulous, cool, really like, well done, really crisp. Yeah. And for for all of the 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 excessive you know amounts of paint we have on those, you know, to to really make the character pop. We're also still offering our Gollum figures, which are um, very simple paint apps. They'll have tampos on the chest emblems that are removable. You can take and you know change out the factions on the characters while you're building them. Um, but they'll mainly just be painted eyes, okay. you know. And we'll pick a, a color, and the color is probably going to be different. Uh, on some drops, it'll be different than the color that's on the deluxe figure. Right. On some drops, it'll be the same. Um, but then we've also started developing the golems as, you know, the, the crystal golem in the first story. Part of what made him so popular was that he was actually a relatable character. Yes. You know, he didn't have a name. We just called him the crystal golem. Uh, Much but, like Twilight, that's why you're so relatable, though. It's just this basic non-formed, yeah. you can, yeah, relatable. Yeah, yeah. So what, what we wanted to do was we, with the golem in this line, in this wave, we wanted to have somebody that was relatable. So we created the character of Flaw. You know, he's an obsidian golem who, you know, toils away in the mines and, and is a prison guard in, uh, you know, with, for the Vilhain until Paladar is thrown into his dungeon. And he's and Paladar actually befriends him and he's always been abused and neglected and, you know, has never really had a friend. And Paladar becomes pretty much his first friend. Aww. You know, so, so that helps him develop a little bit more and see see the light, so to speak, and, you know, and, and change his mind about you know, where he's headed, you know, and he also learns, you know, that he's, he's, he's worth more than he's ever felt to be, you know, Golems to are like be the before. Kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They really story. are. They really are. You know, they're, 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 they're where we put the kids, you know, it's like where we put, you know, we went to uh, Emerald City Comic Con up in uh, Seattle. How was that? 
It was amazing. A lot of fun. That show's growing amazing. every year. We Thanks. sat we sat at our table and ninety I would say ninety five percent of our customers kids. were under twelve years old. Really? You know, awesome. I just love to hear walking. the kids yeah. are playing with yeah. toys. Awesome. And they'd come back. Come there back. was one yeah. little guy, every time he got some money from his parents, he came back and yeah. got something he, else. Yeah, yeah. Would just, you know, He's I mean, working on talking about yeah. more money every yeah, time yeah. between. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's like you know, kids would come by and mom and dad, are you sure? It's a big show. There's lots to see. No, this is what I want, this is what I want. And they always come back, you know. It's That's like they, awesome. they might they might roam the entire show. Before they buy anything, but we we moved a lot of product to little kids, and, and of course I mean, we always give free bucks. items to the kids. Yeah, 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 you, know? you know, yeah. Any kid when we were walking discount. up, Aww. they were coming up and getting. The, if they got a golem, they got a weapon set too. You know, yeah. so that was you that's know. so cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it feels really good. Customers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, and then they discover us online, and we gear the stories to where, you know, um, we write them to where they're interesting enough to keep an adult riveted. But they don't, they're not so dark and terrifying that a kid wouldn't, you yeah, know. Yeah, no, they're not. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we have, they might make you think, but they're not scary. Yeah, yeah, scary. yeah. We have one We have one customer that actually, uh, his his kid loves them to death and will sit and read them to him, you know, a chapter to him before bed to, for Are his bedtime Are you ever going to do like a read. printed? That's actually something, something we were considering sure once we are. get enough chapters. Yeah, yeah. Because um, we've had some like incredible that. artwork. Yeah, yeah. We've had Nate Barch do a lot I of know, stuff. Yeah, amazing. yeah. He's done <laughs> amazing artwork. He's done some stuff. And then our trading cards and, uh, and everything is done by a friend of ours, uh, Chris Miller. And he's done phenomenal on that stuff. So, you know, amazing. that's something we're going to keep going. You know, the trading cards give you that real 80s toy feel. So, Well, maybe that's why I love it so much. Graphic novel time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Animated series time. That's oh, the, yes. that's 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 the that's the ultimate goal. But well, but you know, who would voice it? If only there were someone. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> I also do voice acting. That's why they're doing the thing. <laughs> I love it. So where can people go to buy said things and find out more about Spy Monkey and your lines of toys? Uh, they can visit either one of our websites. They can go to spymonkeycreations.com mm-hmm. or they can go to weaponeersofmonka.com. <laughs> and Monka is M O N K A A. Uh, it's all one word, Weaponeers of Monka. And that will. <laughs> I like I'm not going to stop. <laughs> that, will, that will link to our store. Um, Fantastic. And we also have a Facebook page. Uh, and you can, you know, like the Facebook page. We do a lot of our updates through Facebook because okay. it's just a little more personal. And, um, you know, our website. It's easier to keep up with. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, it's like, and I'm on there all the time. I know. I, I interact all no, the kidding. time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I never leave. Um, you can follow us both on Twitter. Um, sure. I'm uh, at Brian T. Stevenson. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, uh, Jeremy's uh, at, at Spy, Spy Monkey Mon- Jeremy. Spy Monkey Jeremy. So nice. follow, follow us. And, you know, I don't tweet update. as nearly as often as you do. Yeah, yeah. And I've actually got our Facebook page linked to my Twitter account so that every time I post okay. something on Facebook it you know So when you it, post what you're eating or something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every single thing I, I do that too. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That's why they invented the internet. Totally. So tell to show your food. So, so now yes. we don't have to talk about this long, but I think it might be interesting for people. You guys actually started years ago making these sort of things, but resin. Absolutely. And I think that might be something that people may know, may not know. It You've taken it, you worked out a business model where you could take it into full, what we call loosely, real toy production. Not that resin isn't real, it's but... Not. <laughs> it's actually a great uh, great point, because I remember going to Comic-Con, a, you know, I remember years. that, too. We all go to Comic-Con, right? <laughs> but you go to the toy panels, and one of the things you always see are people asking about, oh, how can I get in the toy industry? How can I get in the toy industry? And the thing I love is in recent years... Instead of always being like, oh, I wish I could work for one of the big toy companies, a lot of folks are just making their own toys out of resin. You know, I mean, there's some uh, Turbo Pistola, the Elephantos. Yes, the Elephantos. Great little Aren't they figure. amazing? Yeah. And our buddy Jesse Chagnon with his little uh, exciting world of gel doing slimes. Um, these are all guys just casting their own resin stuff. That's how we started. We were doing resin weapons. You know, I was casting them on my balcony, hand painting them. Cleaning the flash off and sanding them, the them down and, and mean, straightening them out. And, and that's the thing with these, you know, the handmade resin stuff is it's like a labor of love. Like every single one of those guys who is slinging resin is just putting blood, sweat, and tears into that. And some of us, if we're lucky enough, we get to make that jump to, uh, you know, factory production. And it's, you know, it's not easy to get there, but once you do. about perseverance, I think. Perseverance also. And a big yeah. lot of cash. And well, having the right contacts, knowing yeah. people <laughs> that have, you know, the same passion, they can help. I mean, Matt Dowdy has been instrumental. Without Matt Dowdy and, and O'Neill and Glios, we wouldn't be where yeah. we are. Well, and there's a lot of a lot of the uh, small independents that that owe a lot of our our connections and our knowledge and 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 the and 
what we've got to Matt. You know, it's like Absolutely. he's been Us freaking too. phenomenal. Yeah. You know, and is just so. I mean, one of the nicest dudes you'll ever meet. You know, and just and so, just unaffected and if cool. You, if and, you ever have a chance, like New York Comic Con or anything, you have to go meet Matt. Support Onel. Support. They have a billion companies they're supporting. Yeah. Yeah. None of us can say enough good things about Matt because he's amazing. And if you're an artist, if you sit down with Matt, you have a conversation with him for an hour. You will come up with more new ideas than you ever could We should imagine. raffle those off or like sell them or something. Yeah. You should an sell hour with that. Matt, Matt should sell. If he ever does a Kickstarter. He should do like, you get an hour with Matt. Or a weekend site. with Matt, good lord. You'd probably start your own toy company overnight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Our original armory set was born on the floor of the bathroom of Matt's hotel room at Comic-Con. Not the actual pieces, they're safe. It's no, no, those no, are no, clean. Those, yeah, those yeah, we were made. We washed them all yes. before we put them those in the Those are absolutely clean, but the ideas, they're not clean. They yeah. came from <laughs> us hunched crazy, over yeah. at like 2 a.m. Yeah, scribbling yeah. on the little hotel notepad oh. thingy with the with the ballpoint pen that we all steal. Not that I condone stealing, don't do that. Um, right? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. That was like our yeah. entire first project. Yeah, well, because all, all, all of O'Neill, and, and, all, and there were so many people in the hotel room, and everybody was kind of sacked out. Under... Tables, under tables, on desks, on, desk, on, on the dressers. Other. Yeah, it's like we didn't want to wake anybody up, but we were are the once you get once you get Matt going, the like wheels. It just it's the, the the creativity just pours out of that guy. You know, it's like and it's and it and it it's contagious. Yeah, you it know? is. And we really it's like we were like we can't leave until we've got this. Yeah. How do we clone I, Matt? Yeah, yeah. Well. I, I think I think there would be some kind of rip in the space time, <laughs> like, uh, and then we'd have colorways of him. And, and yeah, all like these different colorways: Matt, yeah, yeah. Apocalypse Matt, and Hades Matt. I'm taking the Breaker Purple Matt. Okay. Awesome. The OMFG purple. Flesh Matt. Oh, that's the original. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So thank you guys so much for sharing all this. Uh, we also have many shows coming up. I know you do uh, PowerCon. Mm -hmm. Any other conventions that people could find you, or events, or um, we we it's okay if you don't know yet. I'm just yeah, we we haven't really planned the out the year. We're, we're we're planning on being at Designer Con. Um, um, we uh, um, you know obviously PowerCon. We we're almost always at Emerald City. Emerald Comic City, Con in yeah, Seattle. yeah, in Seattle. Excellent. We do some of the local stuff around here too. If you know, um, we did uh, Long Beach uh, a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I think our big ones are probably going to be. Uh, PowerCon and DesignerCon for this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think. we'd love to do C2E2 yeah. at one point. Yeah, or, we still you know, need out do, there for do, that. Do, do New York, you know, yes. at some time. You know, I'm just sure, Matt will give you some, bit, some space. Yeah, yeah. And time. You know, just to kind of, <laughs> just kind of, you know, get out there and, and meet a lot of those guys too that, you know, we only see either at yeah. Comic Con. You know, some of them we've never met before, but we're we're good friends online. You know, yeah. it's like just here recently, it's a Monster Forger, Charles. Mm -hmm. Him and I have just been back and forth. You know, recently. And it's weird to think and, that you haven't met in person. Right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But it feels like, like you've know known him forever. Charles. Yeah, yeah, of course yeah. you know Charles. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. That's very cool. But that's so watch. I'm sure you post on your Facebook and on your site yep. where you will be. Absolutely. So be sure to follow these guys and uh, just bravo, bravo for creating something original and making work with a cool system, Thank taking you. advantage of something with the longevity of Glios. I think absolutely. I like that. Can we get on to uh, looking at some other things besides just yours, if you don't mind? Absolutely. Would you like to pull something out? Yes, please. Oh, wait. <laughs> Not that. Anyone who wants That's to answer. Again, again, different kind of show, Maury. <laughs> what do we have, George? Up first, we have War Tourist by Sam Planet Domu Griffiths and Run DMB. Um, so here, let's see. This is a four-inch resin figure platform. And is this the blank one right here? Uh, I believe it is, but we haven't opened it yet. This is a, a first reaction. It's a nice little box. And a lot of packaging. To protect them. <laughs> Feel the blank one. Contents. Oh. <sighs> so here's this. Ooh. Pretty. Ooh. Oh, and it's got Remember a couple the feel of that, guys? Oh. oh was it resin? Heads? Yeah. The finish oh, is beautiful. You know what? beautiful. Oh. You like Dude, it already. So, yeah. I'm in love already. These are wicked cool. I love yeah. that little face. Look at the stash. Well, I guess it could be a stash. It could be anything you want it to be. Yeah, there's the little heads. How's it fit? Put the plug in. Plug it in. That's what plug she said. Plug it in, plug it in. He's the, this one goes here. Oh, wait, yeah. Mm. It's a snug fit. It's nice. a good snug. I mean, you probably, if you want it to sit, sit you know, you, you probably push have it to, yeah, further. push it in farther. But that's 
good That's balance a too. Very cool design. And really a really nice balance. way to get four points on the table. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the two tiny feet, which clearly would not hold it up on its own, and then you've got the two big hands. Yeah. That I'm assuming you could. Can you turn the hands? Are they articulated? The uh, arms? I don't think so. No, no. Uh, okay. no, they're solid. Even better. That way, it always has four points. They're just so clean too. If I mean, that's. I don't know if it's coming across on the video, but I mean, the finish on this resin is fantastic. That's something I noticed that sometimes, you know, even we were not great about, is that the final finish on, on your piece before you cast it, whether it's matte, whether it's gloss, whether you've polished it, because that silicone picks up everything, oh, and this one is... Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just got an face. awesome feel to it. Down. Now it's something else. Oh, now he's making a grumpy oh, Grover face. He does. Bigger. He looks like... They're like look, robot Muppets. They're like Bert and Ernie. They're like... Dude, they are! They're like, no, they're like Biff and Sully. Biff and Sully, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Paint them like Biff and, Biff and Sully, Sully. Biff and Sully. Biff right now, Sully. bro. Right now. Right now. Just, right now. just paint they it right really now. Get to it. You can flip his head. It looks like a couple, like a like a pair of eyebrows. Look at that. It's just like he's got. Look, mm. see? He's got, I see. Yeah, how's it going? You know, it's like he's just got <laughs> oh, that. That's so cool. That's wicked cool, man. Ah, I dig it. See, and I'm I'm a big fan of that. I love anything that can be like dual purpose. Oh, that like, looks look at like Bert. Look at it. it. Does it looks like Bert? Look at that. Do you see like, it? Looks yeah. just like Bert. <laughs> You know, I mean, I love stuff like this. I mean, that's a part of what we do, too. It's like where you can dual purpose the pieces, the you know. Hands, so, the hands, yeah, all yeah. your stuff is interchangeable. Yeah, and yeah, so and... stuff like this, man, I, I just, that I dig on that stuff. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen a lot of DIY platform figures with interchangeable parts, parts like that. It's brilliant. Yeah. Even something as simple as just two different heads. Yeah, it adds so much to the figure, and it adds it, so much interest value. in play value. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You really well, and like as a platform, too. I mean, it gives you so many different options, Yes. you know, for, for your customization of it, you know. I mean, you could just leave it like that. And I mean, and that's the nice thing, too, in that, in that stark white. You know, I, I always like that because it, it shows all the details when the light hits it just right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just picks up every single detail. Well, it's a really nice opaque white because sometimes, depending on your mix, your resin, if it's that real translucent white, mm -hmm. You lose all the detail, and until it's painted, you can't really see what you're looking at. But this is almost like a plaster quality to it. It yeah. does have a it plaster. Does feel yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can really, it really shows the detail. It, it, for something that's cast, that's cool. it feels more hand sculpted. Yes. You know, yeah. like it's a like it's like it's a one off piece. It's a nice piece. It's a real nice piece. I thoroughly enjoy this, and it's also, for lack of a better term, smooth enough, mm -hmm. undetailed enough mm -hmm. that it is a platform toy. I mean, the heads definitely have character to them. But I mean, that's what's giving it the character yeah. is the head, and then you've got all this bl nice blank surface to work with, you know, without scribed in detail here and there. And well, I think it, that's a great balance of sculpt to uh, what balance. could be tampo or, or painting, because um, you know you could continue to do different heads and give a lot of character, but you've got that basic buck body, which would be awesome if you put you know graphics and tattoos oh, yeah. and textures. Ooh. You can make them. I'll say the box is really nice too. That it came in with this canvas, canvas wrap around. Oh, it's but canvas. But it's also got printed in the box. Beautiful. Oh, oh that's cool. Like embossed. Way. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's like a. That's a really heavy linen, like wallpaper almost. Yeah. You could do them this way into something. Oh, he's like he's, he's looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's like, yeah, a, like a little crab, like a little thing. crab dude or something, <laughs> you know. <laughs> or if you kind of get him to sit up, it's kind of like a tooth. Yeah, it is. is. <laughs> So versatile. So these are available for 40 pounds from it Planet has a cavity. Oh, get a cavity. <laughs> cavity, because it's a whole... Yeah. Uh, so you get these for 40 pounds at planetdomu.com. It's heavy toys. There's a lot of heavy toys in here today. <laughs> so heavy. Uh, not sure what the exchange rate is at the moment. You can look that up. That's what Google's for. And uh, go check it out, War Tourist. Thank you, Sam Griffiths, for sending that our way. Cool. Last but not least... Star Trek door chime. Do we have any Trek fans? Oh, yes. we kind of assume that you guys would be Star Trek fans. I don't know thought. why. Like, so, wait. I own a Starfleet uniform. Yeah, I haven't worn Whoa, it in years. Whoa, what series? <laughs> Next gen. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I'm Operations red. mustard. Ooh, mustard. I we like could it. be on the same crew, like the same it. ship. I only have an Uhura original. Ah. Uh, well, we'd have to do some crazy like time span. We can't. Like, no. D uh, well, if you had a DS9, damn, we could have done that one. Where they do back to the original series with the Where's triples. Where's that knife? <laughs> if oh, I, if I take off my shirt, I look just like Ricardo Montalban <laughs> in the Wrath of Khan. I, I kid you. This they, is the they truth. molded your chest to they make did. his chest. They did. They did. I was, that only, was really his chest. I was only bro. seven, but you but know, you I was I was fully that. developed. Someone's getting their knee cut. Oh god, I'm sorry. Nope. This is how my dad stabbed himself. Just so everyone knows. Really? 
This is how I stabbed my dad. No. <laughs> oh, oh. I've said too much. It was oh, a gosh. Care Bear accident in the 80s. Oh. oh. Switchblade right there. Oh. oh. Stabby, stabby Bear. Uh -oh. And I was like, give me my bear. Do you have bear. a screwdriver in there too? Uh, you know what? Not in this a pair of pants. I didn't know there'd be a... I didn't know there'd be all this Here, wait, work. What kind of... <laughs> I didn't know we were going to do carpentry. Can you just go grab a real one? Oh, wait. Oh! Surprise! Toybrick Studio is full of surprises. <laughs> Fantastic. Go, go, Gadget Toolbox. Well, while you're installing this, so what we have here is uh, a motion-sensitive uh, door chime from the original series. It mounts next to any door, and it offers door opening sound, red alert sound, or push button for communicator whistle. <laughs> These go for $30 at thinkgeek.com, and I really want to hear it! Me too. Think Geek is like the best thing on the internet, dude. Right? They have some of the coolest stuff, and I love how like sometimes like like the jokes that they do for April Fools oh. actually become real product. Yes, my tauntaun. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that's loud. Whoa, that's loud. Is there a volume switch? I'm guessing no. All right, so okay, that's the stop pressing the button. It says it's motion activated on one of these Hold switches. On. Maybe there's something back Maybe here. Maybe it's right is here. There like a, is, there a, is there a try me mode that you have to? Help. We need the swooshing. Stop. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I want one. How do we get it to do it? Okay, we need to figure out red alert. It lit up. Something happened. Danger, Will Robinson. Stop Wrong moving show. the thing. Why well, don't they read the instructions? Oh, there's ah, instructions. Ah. Wait, everyone. There's but they're in Korean. Test. Oh, there is a, a volume thing. Ah. Sen that's sensor direction switch. Oh, well, where'd you move oh. it to? I don't know. You guys want to check it out? Here, you guys play it. It's like a face hugger's going to pop out of this <laughs> thing. And Wait, there's something on the side here. Maybe I think that's the, the sensor. That's the sensor. Okay, so there's, there's another sensor over here. Read. And you walk through it. Volume. Those are, that's actually this mis you which okay. sensor, middle, both. So no set the volume to high or low. Set, set the, the sensor direction left or right or both. And then. Why does it say bottom? And then. And set then. the operation okay. mode switch to the bottom for the red bottom alert. Or the alert. Top. They have all their. So oh, it does that. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. He's got it. Oh dear. <laughs> now you've made it angry. Wait a minute. <laughs> there you go. It goes this way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's why. We're ridiculous. We're like, everything's upside Yes, I'm down. a Star Trek fan. I've seen the show thousands of times. But how often do you look at the actual wall panel? And there are people that do. No, I know. <laughs> Believe me. Okay, so I set it to both. And it's up. All the way up. What does up mean? Uh, set the original switch to the top position for door mode. Which okay. is what it's doing. Um, mode switch to the center position for no detection mode that turns off the centers. Okay, so that's why it and wasn't then, working. And then the red alert is the bottom. Ah. Ah, see, it denotes with the light when it kicks ha, in. Ha, ha, ha. Very cool. And this it is just, pretty cool. It just keeps doing that. You could, you could, Emergency. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, this is on quiet. There's another mode. Make it loud, Brian. This one should go up. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. That'll wake up, that'll wake up the neighbors. Nice. Now see, this is what you have when you have one of those cats that runs through the house at 3 a.m. Then <laughs> you set this up next time. Yeah. <laughs> this is really cool. It's actually really... It... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's really sleek looking. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a nice accessory. And it looks like We're a 60s about $30. accessory. It does, it does. $30? I mean, not that I can change the price, but I, that's pretty good, though. Actually, yeah, I mean, like for something twenty that... would be like a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. But you know, it's like any, like, yeah. But if you go retail and you've got like even like role-play toys, you know, that have electronic bits in them, they're running for twenty bucks, twenty-five bucks too. So yeah. I mean, it's true. It's pretty reasonable. It's the world we live in, bro. I like it. Just look at those colors. Aren't yeah. They great. Should I take this opportunity to tell everybody something very exciting? Yes. How do I turn it off? <laughs> There is no off. Oh, the center. You put uh, it in the oh, center. Oh, not activated. See, Got it. He just read that. We forgot. Kind of. 
with the listening, not so good. I don't like the cat killing sound. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm very excited to announce this since you guys are Star Trek fans. Yes. Um, so, I, I, I can't contain myself. So, DCON this year, Designer Con 2013, not only are we a two day show, we are expanding into some interesting things happening at the show. Like, have you been to, um, I believe it's newstarship.com? Uh, we will have the restored bridge from Next Generation Enterprise at the convention. At the convention. Oh, that's like, cool. Like the bridge. You can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna that's have to like, bust out my oh uniform. Oh my goodness! Yes. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh I don't even my think goodness! I can fit anymore. If oh. you bring your uniform, I'll bring my uniform. Except mine's the wrong. Maybe I'll get a new uniform. <laughs> You'll just have to dress up as Q to explain why yes. we don't match. Yes. And then it'll oh, be there fun. we go. Okay, it'll work. we can do that. You know, it's good. We'll figure it out. My Mugadu costume needs to go to the dry cleaner. <laughs> it smells kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm really excited about that. That's I hope cool. you guys are excited. Hopefully you guys will come check it out. It's a really cool project. Actually, it started on Kickstarter. Fantastic. It, cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. You should do it. And this is like the official, this isn't like a replica or anything. This is actually well, the official bridge or? It's not the one from the show that was built out of wood and disintegrated a bajillion years ago. Well, right, right, 20 right. years ago. Um, there were four made for the uh, Star Trek uh Experience. Experience. I was okay, like the okay. exhibit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Star yeah. Trek experience in Vegas, and then one made for touring. So this is uh, somewhat a culmination of what exists out of those still. And then they're working with uh, Houston Huddleston, the head of the project, is working with the designers from the actual original sets to make it more accurate than it was at the experience. Cool. So it'll basically so, like, be the. Do most you remember? It will be the most accurate because uh, exists, at the experience yeah, it had like yeah. the three seats, but it didn't have the little like side chairs where like Troy would go sit and yeah. like that. So like right, they're right. putting those in, they're changing the panels, making sure those are all um, like the right colors and stuff, even though they changed up and now and then, like making sure everything's as accurate as possible. And it'll be the so most we'll, accurate one in existence yes. currently because. Yes, it's really the only one in yeah, existence that's currently. That's it. Cool. So that's very exciting. We're that's very awesome. happy to have them at the show. Go check the link in the show notes for all the. Uh, the details on what they're doing, and come visit us at DesignerCon in November. Speaking of events, DesignerCon, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Long Beach Comic Expo, one day comic convention brought to you by the Long Beach Comic Con and Horror Convention at Long Beach Convention Center on May 11th, longbeachcomiccon.com. Apparently this is much smaller, but very comic focused. Oh. Interesting. And horror. No. No horror? That's the no, other that's one. that's the other one. The bigger That's the one. November. The Long Beach, the One Day Expo is more comic focused, mm. not horror. Okay. But if you're not in Long Beach, you could go to Toy Box. That is a new solo exhibition of work by Robert Xavier Burden, depicting iconic childhood toys at Shooting Gallery in San Francisco, California from May 11th through June 1st. ShootingGalleriesf.com. And we've had some of his work on before. It's, it's amazing. It's like 11 foot... Voltron and it looks like a tapestry. It's like, like this guy's work is worth understand. seeing in person. If you can get a chance to see it it's live, like, a six like in foot person. Battle cat. You need oh that. wait, I think you've the, seen the. Oh, guy. I think I've, I've seen, seen, I've seen, seen yeah. the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the they're just uh, online. I've never actually seen or to the see prints, them in person is amazing. Like, yeah, breaking. because they're huge. I don't know why he paints so big. Why not? Because he can. Yeah, but you can't. Where are you going to put it? No one can buy it. Like. The only one that can find is like Mattel to put it in a giant hallway somewhere or something like that. Like, I don't know. Paint small. Maybe he wants to keep them all. Rich people with big, big houses. Yeah, I exactly. think that's the, that's why they paint so big. And finally, we're still talking about this. Cool mini or not expo. Meet the ho folks behind great games like Zombicide, Rivet Wars, Sedition Wars, and Guilds of Cadwallon. Plus, meet award winning miniature painters Jen Haley and James Wapel in Atlanta, Georgia, May 17th through May 19th. Come on, expo.com. Now, have you guys seen, if I, if I could plug something really quick. Absolutely. At the Skirball right now yes. is a big exhibit for Gary Baseman, yes. who was like a big pioneer for the whole vinyl, you know, toy you know, movement. You know, I mean, he's got, and I, I haven't gone yet. I think my wife and I are going to go either Saturday or Sunday. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, her, uh, her former um, employer was, uh, was friends with Gary. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, he, she's got his pieces all over her house, you know, like, oh, a, a, like an original Toby and, you know, the, the vinyl, the sewed up, you know, plush, you know, mm -hmm. it's just amazing stuff. 
Um, so anyway, he, I, from all the pictures and stuff he's been posting, just been wild. It's pretty crazy looking so, exhibit, huh? Yeah, yeah, and it's going through sometime in August, so it's 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 uh, about a week in right now. And you should keep an eye on all the details of that exhibit, especially towards summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was some neat stuff coming out. <laughs> and I believe that if what you're talking about is the Toby Creamy. The Creamy, has it yeah. Been announced? Has been announced. Has been oh, announced. Yeah. I thought it was all secret. And you can pre order it <laughs> pre-order. at the gallery now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then as soon as it comes in, they'll sell it. If only yeah. we knew who made that. Made by 3D Retro. Mm, yes. Ah. I actually posted it on my Facebook page. Did you? Oh, yeah. fabulous. I think, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm a big Gary Basement fan. so. Awesome. Yeah. Thank, you for bring, thank you for reminding us. Thank you for bringing that up. Do you have any shows you'd like to plug? Sadly, no. He's. I, I rely on Brian for all my. We all rely on Brian. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for being on the couch. Um, don't forget. That's it. I mean, that's it for episode two hundred and sixty. Oh my gosh! Wow. This, you guys were on a round number. Yes. That's very exciting. Haven't we been saying we were going to do this for like a, two years? We've been talking about it. Yeah, yes. we've been talking about like it since the, since the first do. PowerCon, actually. Uh, I think so. So long ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's fun. <laughs> well, I'm I, lo- glad I love doing this kind of stuff. And I hope yeah. you guys can come back sometime. Absolutely. Yes. We would love to have you back before PowerCon. Absolutely. Uh, you should, yes, come back and tell us what you're going to bring to PowerCon. Yes, Ooh. yes. Oh, yeah. So don't forget, you can go get their stuff, weaponersofmonka.com. You can check the show notes, toybreak.com. Toy break. No, that's not as cool. It's not as cool. It's not as cool. It's not as cool. <laughs> and of course, spymonkeycreations.com. And don't forget, you can save money at other retailers, so you can go buy their stuff. You can check out coupons on toybreak.com to save said money to go buy their wonderful wares at weaponersofmonkey.com. <laughs> 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 you can also do many other fine things at toybreak.com, like watch past episodes, join in the contests and the discussions on the forum. They are rousing, titillating even. You can check out the goodies page where there's fun freebies, like Toy Break Paper Toys, of us, by three different artists, Alexander Gwynza, Kane, and Castlefort. You can also help support the show by doing what you do every day, which is shopping on Amazon. Don't lie, I know you do it. Just click the Amazon link on toybreak.com. Do your shopping as normal. Huge help. We appreciate everybody who's taking the few extra clicks to do that. And while you're on the forum, don't forget to vote for OMFG Series ah. 4. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right now. Yeah. I've got my vote in. Do you? <laughs> and remember. <laughs> no, I have to go do it as soon as I get home. You need an I voted sticker that you can Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And just has the open mouth. With the lips. Ah. With the cuddle heart yeah. lips. Oh, that'd be awesome. And don't forget, uh, when you vote, make sure to vote for five. If it's less than five, that's no good because we might think you're spammy. So vote for five. Pick and five. No, it's fun. No smileys, no cutesy comments, yeah, nothing like that. Just, just numbers. numbers. <laughs> All the you, you numbers. <laughs> You'd think it'd be that easy. Right? Yes. You'd think you could just say that and people would realize it. But like, These are my numbers and this is why. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite number is seven. <laughs> but I didn't like seven, so I had to change. And just super quick, in case anybody's wondering, um, there has been some discussion on the forum. The re- we went through a lot of different options on how to do voting, polling system, all sorts of things. But in order to keep it as public and as open as possible, we decided to stick with the system that we were using. Uh, if you want to sit there and count the votes, feel free. That's what we have to do. <laughs> um, it, it's not as much fun as it sounds. But it is super exciting, and we love to have it open so that everybody can participate, get new people interested in the line. And don't worry if it looks like there's something crazy going on, like somebody making a name one, name two, name three. Like, we do see that. And so we'll fix it in the Don't end. worry about don't it. Don't worry. We, so we do see it. We'll hunt them down. We, we don't have time for that because we got to make the toys. Oh. But we, we will take that into account. Trust us. We are trying to keep this as open and honest as possible. And with that, don't forget you can call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us, info at toybreak.com. Keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can check out our toy briefs, toy girls, and full toy break episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. I'm at Brian T. Stevenson. I'm at Spy Monkey Jeremy. And uh, actually, c- could you take us out in like maybe a fun voice or something with our little yes. same toy time, same toy channel next week? Sure. See you next week, kids. Same toy time, same toy channel. <laughs>